What is going on guys? Grave here. Yesterday we received a small update for the console version of the Elder Scrolls Online. I will link the patch notes for Xbox and PlayStation down in the description below if you'd like to read over them for yourself. It was a very small update. We'll go ahead and hop right into some of the changes. It was mainly just UI fixes and some small improvements. They fixed a few locations in the Blackwood world where you would, uh, some parts of the world would kind of disappear when you're standing in certain locations. Also, they fixed a part of Blackreach where there was an invisible stream of water. When it comes to the Dread Cell Reef Trial, the Deluge Eruption will no longer trigger on player characters who are swimming. They fixed a few UI issues within Tales of Tribute, and they also updated the key binding uh, in gamepad mode to use the standard back button rather than the options button. Also, in Grave and Deep, they reduced the health and damage from the Flesh Abominations and Flesh Atronaches, and Soul no longer reduces healing received, health recovery, and damage shields in normal difficulty mode. Also, they fixed an issue where some style pages could not be used. They fixed an issue where companions would attempt to enter combat while mounted. That's, in my opinion, been an issue for a while now. I'm not sure why, why it's kind of been brought up lately, but I'm glad that was fixed because that is very annoying when your companions mount, mounted riding by you know, an enemy. They start to kind of hop off and fight, which is, uh, as we all know, companions can kind of be a pain sometimes when they're following you around. And last but not least, they fixed a few small housing issues uh, with some of the furnishings. Like I said, nothing really big within this update, just some small changes. But of course, like always, you know, when the PC version of the game gets some updates, we always get some updates, you know, a couple weeks later on PlayStation and Xbox as well. So, like I said, nothing real big, but of course, we will have a bigger update when Update 36 launches. There's not been a lot of huge changes in Update 36 either. I think a lot of people are kind of glad considering Update 35 did not go over very well with the community. But anyway, guys, let me comment your thoughts. And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.